Hi Aries, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Aries, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see who's coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading, where I'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, this is absolutely amazing. Yeah, you got a really good spread here. You got the star card and the fool. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you that there is a big magical transformation about to take place. Right now, you are very lucky and very fortunate. You've paid your dues, right? You've collected data. You know what you want and what you don't want. And right now, your luck and fortune is about to change. Now, this is something magical that takes place the moment you assume the feeling of your wish fulfilled. This is your power right here. You have the power to change your life right now by assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. All you got to do, remember, the universe does not speak languages. It doesn't speak English, French, Cantonese. It only speaks feelings, right? Feeling is the secret, right? I'm sure you read the book, The Secret. That's where it's at. Feeling is the secret. So what does that mean? Right now, rather than wait, wish, want, hope, need, which is lack, no one's ever jumping for joy, excited to be wanting something. It's not fun wanting, that's scarcity. Instead, Feel the wish fulfilled, Neville Goddard. When you do this, it works every single time. So for example, imagine you're waiting to meet your soulmate. That waiting, oh, that's not fun. Waking up in the morning, is it today, is it not? But instead, imagine if you're like, listen, I'm not gonna do the same thing as yesterday because I'll get the same results. I'm gonna try a new strategy. My new strategy is I'm not going to, you know, force reality, I'm gonna take possession of it. I'm gonna close my eyes, I'm gonna visualize myself holding my soulmate's hand, putting my head on their shoulders and feeling, wow, Oh, I finally did it. It feels so safe to be around them. That feeling of, ah, right there. That is clearing the energy. And now, boom, your luck and fortune changes and it works every single time. And that is the art of manifestation is the getting in alignment, right? Imagination creates reality. And this is exactly how the universe is telling you to communicate with it. Because remember, all you have to do is be able to have a direct channel to each spirit and spirit will deliver. This is a friendly universe, right? Law of attraction, law of uh, assumption, quantum entanglement, quantum uh, physics has proven this. This universe is very friendly if you know how to communicate with it. The way it works is that you don't speak languages, but you do speak feelings. And if something feels real to you, it doesn't matter if it is real in the third dimension, it becomes real. Hence, placebo effect definitive proof, right? So right now, if you give someone like a sugar pill and tell them a sugar uh, pill, you tell them it cures diabetes, their diabetes will get cured if they believe it. They have, you know, millions of, 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 of uh, clinical studies proving this. So right now, all you have to do is understand if you think it and you feel it, you will change your reality 100% of the time. That's it. You can change your metabolism. You can change your luck, your fortune. You can change someone's, you know, uh, outlook. It's, it's all proof here. Now, you got the three of swords here. Very interesting. And you have the knight of wands. There is some sort of limiting belief preventing inspired action. And there's a little bit of procrastination and hesitation. Your angels and guides are telling you feelings form the actions that you wish to accomplish. So right now, you're, you have to be able to clear this limiting belief. This limiting belief could be like, you want to lose some weight, but you're telling yourself, oh, I am big boned, so I will never be fit. That is a false belief. Or you may want to get rich, but you're telling yourself, I have no experience when it comes to business. That is a false belief. You could totally gain experience. How many people started businesses that have never started a business before and became millionaires, right? So it can get done. Now, the only thing you have to do is understand that it takes the same energy to think big than small, same energy to think positive than negative. There is no reason to doubt yourself other than, you know, you're brainwashing an influence from television and you know social media. So don't doubt yourself. Why? Because you got the five of swords here and you also have the nine of wands and you're being told right now, be resilient. You are about to change things in your life, but you got to stand up for yourself. You cannot at all let fear, ego, prevent you from shining by making you feel like something wrong. Like your faith is your fortune. You have to believe in yourself. If you want your life to change, you have to first and foremost know that you can do it and to embrace and welcome this energy in your life. And I'll give you an example, right? Like right now, imagine you wanted to start a business, but imagine you told yourself, I am not lucky when it comes to business. You're casting a spell. You're telling the universe that, hey, 
I'm an unlucky person. And the universe never second guesses you. Just like the subconscious mind never second guesses the conscious mind. The universe is not here to say, oh, are you sure you want to rethink that? It doesn't do that, right? The universe is like, oh, okay, your wish is my command. So you got to know how to play this game. Remember, you are, you're playing a game. This is a fractal holographic universe. This whole thing is nothing more than a simulation. And what this means is you're the co-creator of your reality. By really ascending to the next level of the game, which is really believing in yourself, trusting yourself, believing in your angels and guides, knowing that the universe loves you. You are the universe's child. It adores you, right? Becoming aware of what you're thinking and feeling. Now you're inviting the, the energy of abundance in your life, Aries, and now it manifests quickly. And the fact that you got the three of cups and you also have the ace of cups, it lets you know that there are third parties here that are going to change your life. These are strangers, friendly, family members, coworkers, someone directly or indirectly is going to bring you an opportunity to either meet your soulmate or get rich. And this is exactly what happened to myself. You know, a third party, a mutual friend invited myself and my wife to a birthday. When I, when I went to the party, I met her. And that's how I met my wife 14 years ago, right? And same thing here. When you are feeling good, people will invite you to functions. They'll want you to be around, right? And this is exactly how you mingle. And this is exactly how you change your fortune. Uh, right now, you got the abundance card. This is another reminder. Take a look at this card. This is you right here shining. When you are your genuine, authentic self, when you live as if your life and your prayers have already been answered, now the abundance flows to you. Remember, abundance flows to the grateful heart. I repeat, abundance flows to the grateful heart. If abundance was a person, it is naturally attracted to someone who's grateful, thankful, and excited. That means that if you instill those excellent habits in your life, abundance will come to you. You don't need to go look for it. Abundance, money, love, this is nothing more than energy. It's an opportunity, right? Energy is attracted to energy. It's almost like, you know how like when you have different dog breeds and then like one dog breed recognizes dog, another dog breed and they're like, oh my goodness, we're the same. Same thing here. You are the same. You are high frequency, high energy being. And right now you're attracting all the right things. Four of wands lets you know major celebration, monumental moment brought to you by judgment, your angels and guides coming your way. And right now what you think of with emotion is an actual fact. So by quantum entangling with abundance, you can expect it to happen immediately. Now look at this. You have the faith card. So another gentle reminder to have faith through divine timing, divine source and divine intervention. A lot of good things are coming and there's an awakening that's about to take place for you because you have the enlightenment card right now this spiritual awakening is going to lead to a lot of different positive outcomes and understand that the more that you're connecting to your inner being when you're walking towards your inner being by looking inwards the more money love and health comes your way and i'll give you an example whenever you're looking outwards what do i do oh my goodness what's this person doing you're giving away your power whenever you're like what do i feel like i should be doing that right there, you're gaining power, right? And right now your angels and guides are telling you that the answers that you seek are within because your soul has been reincarnated thousands of times. They're able to help and guide you when you walk towards your inner being, which is listening to your instincts. All right, Aries, now let's get some love and money into your life. Write down the following affirmation in the comment section and quantum entangle with the energy of abundance, which is your birthright. When you write this down, breathe life into these words by feeling them. You want to feel these words as you write this down. So write down the following affirmation in the comment section exactly as you see here. I learn the way on the way. Look at that. You're saying, I strive for progress, not perfection. I'm not going to wait to be perfect to do something. I'm going to start right now. I learn the way on the way. This is a beautiful message. Write this down in the comment section. Let your angels and guides know to bring you new opportunities, new po uh, potential, new outcomes, and you don't need to learn this lesson. You already know it. Write this down in the comment section. I learn the way on the way. Give this video a like right now and let your angels and guides know that you are 100% ready for what is your birthright, which is abundance. All right, now final message from your spirit, guys. And the final message is, karma is on your side. Yes, it is. Absolutely, it is. You have a lot of good karma built up. Right now, the message is, if you would read all the minds that I read, hear all the prayers that I hear, and beat all the hearts that I beat, I wonder if you'd even believe how often you're thought of, talked about, and fallen in love with. It's payback time. 
Oh my goodness, you are accumulated so much good karma. You're such a beautiful soul, Aries. You've done so many good things in this world. You gotta understand, when you give a compliment to someone, it changes their life, it changes their day. When you smile, wink, show love, listen, lend an ear, shoulder to cry on, these things are just like a boomerang of love. It's just throwing it out there and it's coming back tenfold. And right now your angels and guys are telling you that you have so much good karma coming, so you're very lucky and fortunate. So expect and be excited for a lot of abundance. All right, Aries, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.